Where are we going? The last place they're going to look. Ending this series kind of feels like a mini breakup, but don't worry if you have just finished binging The Outer Banks and you must watch these other similar shows. The OC. When great teen movies come to mind, we can't help but mention The OC. It's the perfect show to watch if you've just come out of The Outer Banks binge. This early 2000s show created by Josh Schwartz revolves around the life of financially unstable and rebellious teenager Ryan Atwood. After he's lucky enough to be adopted by a rich lawyer, his whole life completely transforms. He moves far away from his hometown to live in a suburban neighborhood located in Newport Beach. Ryan then attends a new high school where he eventually becomes friends with his foster brother, Seth, who, by the way, is very socially awkward. Ryan then created feelings for his next door neighbor, the perfect and flawless Marissa Cooper. Okay, I know what you're thinking here. This is the most cliche plot ever. But to mock my words, this show has much more drama as it progresses. Elite. Now, I totally recommend this next one more than any other on this list. If you haven't seen Elite already, then what are you waiting for? But even if you have, season 5's finally out and I recommend watching it. Even though it is somewhat of a slow pilot, it starts getting really interesting as soon as we get more into the lives of the characters. What made the show really popular is the fact that it really gets inside the mind of each and every character while also explaining their deepest and darkest secrets. And who knows, you might even relate to some of them. The show starts with three middle-class high schoolers who have won a scholarship to enter one of the most prestigious schools in Spain. What awaits them here are, of course, the children of Spain's richest businessmen. Getting along with them is dramatic enough, but what makes this show even more worthy of watching is a murder mystery which no one really takes a right guess at who the killer is till it's finally uncovered. If you love The Outer Banks, then you'll love this show even more as it shares some socially relevant topics such as religion, racism, homophobia, and self-harm, just to name a few. Riverdale. Riverdale has been on the mainstream lately and once you see it, you'll understand why. This show gets more insane the deeper you get into it. Riverdale is lightly based on the Archie comics, with the series revolving around Archie, Betty, Cheryl, Veronica, and Jughead, who, by the way, is far more attractive than its name. All of them gather together to solve the mystery and the hidden secrets of their town's past. Although Riverdale doesn't completely have the same feel that Outer Banks does, there are a lot of similarities between both shows. For instance, there's a lot of tension in different social classes in both of these shows. Ragnarok. If you don't want to binge on endless episodes, then Ragnarok is totally worth a watch. If you liked watching the middle-class teenagers fighting against the wealthy in Outer Banks, then you'll for sure enjoy the events that happen in this series. This Norwegian series also has a very touching environmental message that reveals itself as the story progresses. The show revolves around Magni, who finds himself in a clash with the Dutal Corporation, corporations controlled by Norway's fifth wealthiest family. However, their factories are polluting in the country. Shows made up of only six episodes would be a good way to spend a rainy day inside binge-watching The Wilds. This is another amazing show to watch. This one talks about Fatten, Dot, Martha, Rachel, Shelby, Nora, Tony, and Leah, which are a group of teenage girls from different backgrounds who end up on a deserted island after their plane crashes. While the series progresses, the girls try to adapt to a more survival lifestyle and even cope with the trauma that they just experienced. But it turns out that all of this was a big social experiment that was all created by their loved ones. This show is really similar to Outer Banks as it combines the emotional pressure and the effort that the characters go through. Spinning out. Okay, this next one might seem unusual that it got mentioned in our list, but this show has many important elements in the story that are similar to Outer Banks. This show is a teen ice skating series that will most likely impress you. It revolves around figure skater Kat Baker, who's pressured to stop her attempts at winning the Olympic medals when she suffers a leg injury. Injury. But even after Kate is finally ready to start competitive skating, there are many things that try to stop her, including personal family issues and even mental health issues. Although it doesn't entirely focus on what Outer Banks focuses on, they both talk about the effects that mental health has. For example, Rafi tries so hard to get his father's attention and approval and is willing to do anything for it. This kind of behavior really impacts Rafi and starts him to go through a mental breakdown. On the other hand, we also see JJ and Pope struggling mentally 
because of their financial and family problems. Lock and Key This next show on our list has the number one ingredient that makes Outer Banks so addicting to watch, which is mystery combined with a little bit of fantasy. The show talks about Tyler, Kinsey, and Bodie, who are three children whose father dies in some mysterious conditions. All of them soon move to a mansion in Massachusetts, where they instantly notice many different keys through the entire property. They discover that these keys can unlock special rooms in the house that soon connect them with the supernatural. But the fact that they know how to find these keys soon gets them chased by a demonic entity that wants to use these supernatural powers for their own benefit. The Locke siblings are very similar to John B, as all of them never discovered what truly happened to their father. But in this series, the three siblings find what actually happened to their father when they find other keys in their new mansion. Get even. If you like female-driven shows, then here's another one for you. The show is more of a thriller that revolves around Kitty, Bree, Margot, and Olivia, who get together to create a group they later call Don't Get Mad. They then go on a mission to expose all the bullies in their school so they can finally feel humiliated and get a taste of their own medicine. But when one of the girls they were about to expose is found dead, things start to get serious. The girls then fear that someone's trying to frame them for a horrible crime that can ruin all their lives. The way that this show is similar to Outer Banks is that John B. is also wrongfully accused of the murder of Sheriff Peterkin, similar to the Don't Get Me Mad Girls bloodline. Unlike other series on this list, this one is not actually a teen series. However, it does have all that Outer Banks vibe. The storyline of the show is set on the East Coast, and it's purely made up of conflict, sinister secrets, and a ton of family drama. The show starts with Danny Rayburn returning to Florida to celebrate the anniversary of his parents' hotel opening. But Danny's planning to stay for good and continue managing his parents' hotel. But Danny's siblings consider him as the black sheep of the family and have always found him rather unsettling. As the series progresses, the untold truth of their family's past begins to unravel. Summertime. The settings in which the Outer Banks has taken place literally made anyone who watched it want to just pack their suitcases and go to the Carolinas. Summertime, on the other hand, is an Italian teen drama that is as picturesque as it is dramatic. That's not all, as it holds quite a consuming love story. The series follows a girl named Summer who has a strong desire to leave her hometown, but is also worried about how this sudden decision can affect her family. The show also revolves around Ale, who is a former bike racer that decides to just travel and go wherever life takes him. Of course, these two soon meet together and experience a dreamy summer beach romance together. And even though Outer Banks was mainly shot during Golden Hour, summertime is all about bold and bright summer colors that enhance the town's shore. Panic. This next show is based on Lauren Oliver's novel with the same name, and let me tell you, it is literally a teen drama for the ages. The story opens up in a small town in Texas where the graduating seniors take part in a series of challenges every summer that allows them to finally escape from their boring hometown. The first season of Panic is set throughout summer. As the series progresses, the challenges become even harder, up to a point where teens start putting their life in danger. It is kind of like a smooth mix between The Hunger Games and Outer Banks. So which one of these shows will you watch next? Let us know your favorites, and thanks for watching.